on this morning. Hello there, welcome back. Now, if you've been busy clearing out your loft or having a general tidy up during the Easter holidays, have you discovered something that could be worth a secret fortune? If you have, we're joined by the man who can tell you just how much, pawnbroker Dan Hatfield. Morning, Dan. Good Lovely morning. to have you with us. Uh, I know we've had loads of calls, so we're going to get straight into them so right. we get to the juicy details. Uh, we're going to start with Catherine. Catherine. Yep. Catherine, morning to you. You're in London. Um, tell us a little Hello. bit about what you've got for Dan to have a look at. Oh, yes. Well, I wanted Dan just to give me his um, advice. Um, I've been I'm clearing out um, quite a lot of stuff at, at home and dropping stuff off at charity shops. And um, I always have a little look on my way out. Um, and last week I was in my in a shop and um, charity shop. I saw underneath the sort of pile of clothes, there's a basket full of bags. And I spotted this bag that I really liked. I oh, wanted a name bag. Oh, we're looking oh. at the bag now. Check out. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is what I wanted to know. <laughs> Oh, well, I liked it, and I, I, I love the chain, I like the design, and when I got it home, my teenage daughter, who, you know, is up with lots of fashion a bit more than me, said, Mum, I really think you're onto something there, um, but I'm not sure if it is, you know, I know that you don't, you know, sometimes you get things that look like designer bags or whatever, so I yeah. just thought, perfect. So what is it real? Is it minimization? So uh, you paid about I £10? Think pounds. It, I think it's Stella McCartney. You think okay. it's Cat? Thinks it's Stella. Cat yeah. is Cat. Top marks for you. Did I go to the top you of the class? You go to the top of the class. It, it is Stella McCartney. Did you know Ooh. that because of the design? It's because you've yes, got very expensive the... taste. <laughs> She's a fashionista. <laughs> yeah. No, I also love a charity shop, though. So, Catherine, I'm with you. I love a dig around in the charity shop. So, I'm like, if I see something that I think might yeah. be, I'm buying it in two seconds. Yeah. Back. Kat and Catherine, <laughs> I'm, I'm in the charity shop gang. In fact, I love going around Richmond yeah. because... It's quite spenny oh. there, and you get some it's really spenny. good stuff. You get some really good stuff. Cat, yeah, you're yeah, absolutely... I've got some good, good shops near us, actually, some nice areas, so it'll be worth having a look. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, Kat... so, so you think I can set... What do you think it's worth, or...? Yeah, let's go, Dan, stop in? talking. Get to the money. <laughs> well, Kat's right. <laughs> She's absolutely right. It is Stella McCartney. It's beautiful, actually. I was going to actually ask you what vegan designer might have designed this, and you would have got that straight, straight in. Away. Um, it is Stella McCartney. You can tell by the design, the faux leather, um, mm -hmm. animal skin. Um, and how much did you pay for it? Ten pounds. <gasps> which I thought was actually, you know, I, well, I mean, it's obviously not much, but I was umming an iron. I thought, oh no, for ten pounds, I'm having it. You're excited because you know how much I'm it's really worth. I'm really excited how, here. How much do you reckon it's worth? Oh, uh, I don't know how much it's worth, but I know it's nowhere near ten pounds. I'd say four hundred. No, oh, wow. Right, not about. Bad. About 300 quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. 100 300 pounds. pounds. What a charity shop find. So now Catherine. I have the dilemma whether to keep it or not. <laughs> yeah, so what, yeah, that's a good point. Do you keep it or do you sort of put it out there and try and sell it, Catherine? What's your thinking? I, I, well, I've, I, I've actually, I actually bought Dan's book recently just to sort of um, get nice. some advice. And I know he talks a lot about hiring stuff out. I don't know if I could hire it to my friends. Maybe. Hire the bag out. No. Absolutely. You could get about <laughs> 20 to £30 pounds per rental on that. Wow. So within mm -hmm. sort of 10 times, you'll make the value of it and you can keep on earning by renting it out. Well done. And you can use it Maybe as well I'll when you need to. my teenage daughter for a job for oh, her. Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. lovely. And it's a useful colour and a great design as yeah. well. That's the other thing. So well done, Catherine. Dad, well done. Thank you very much. Um, OK, the next one is from Joyce. She says, I want to sell my Lowry drawing. Um, Joyce, are you there for us this morning? Good morning. Yes, I am. Good Hi, morning Joyce. to you all from sunny Mallorca. I oh. know. Lucky you. So tell yes. Dan what you have. Right. I got married in 1972 and we went on honeymoon to Paul. And we went into the gallery uh, on Paul Harbour and I fell in love with this L.S. Lowry pencil sketch. Oh, yes. Um, so my husband very kindly bought it for me. I've kept the painting, or the print, but I've not kept the husband, obviously. <laughs> um, and I would like to know very much if it's worth... It could be worth £50, it could be worth 5000 it could be 50 But I'm very interested to know. Yeah, well, Joyce, what a fantastic example of Lowry here. I absolutely love Lowry because it speaks to my northern roots. Mm. It's all about... Um, the, celebrating industrialisation and the urbanisation of our areas. I'm in love with Lowry. These line drawings, as they're called, aren't as popular as they used to be, but nonetheless, it's, it's still a beautiful example. Do you know how, how the dimensions of this? 
Um, I think the dimensions are, if I'm thinking about it, the dimensions of the actual sketch are 12 by 10 inches, old school, and the it's still in its original frame from the 50 years ago. Wow. And in the frame, it's 17 inches by 15. So well, I've never opened the back. I've never had, a, had it out of the back. I just kept it in the frame. Well, how we work out the, the value of Lowry's is we look at the size of the Lowry okay. and how many stick men oh, really? are in the picture. Ah. Because there's tons. There's tons of them. There's loads of stick men, which is absolutely fabulous. I love the floatiness of the stick man. It's, it just speaks to me in volumes. In terms of the value, now, I can't see this in person, so I can't tell 100% mm -hmm. if it is real, but it certainly does look that way to, all, to me. Mm -hmm. Again, I'd have to have a look at it. In terms of value, if it was a print, and it was signed by Lowry, you'd be looking at about 700 to 1,000 pounds, which is pretty good on a Yeah, that's great. If it's real. Ooh. Like an original. Like an original. In the hand of Lowry, it could be worth 20,000 pounds. Oh, my God. And really? <laughs> We're all coming over to Mallorca, Joyce. Well, We're coming for cocktails, for cocktails in Mallorca at your house. Yeah, I'll take you for cocktails. I'll take you for a night. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, well, I, wow. uh, so the, the only way, Joyce, you're going to find out whether it's a print or whether it's a real one is to take it to be... I'll, uh, I'll sort... I've got up. people in Mallorca who I know who are... Oh, have you, Joe? He's got yeah, people I, I, I all over the world. If you want to fly me over, <laughs> that's more than welcome. <laughs> well, yeah, please, you're going to give me 20,000. You can fly, <laughs> oh. I'll pay. Oh, personally. <laughs> well, Joyce, amazing. Oh, it's, Joyce. A wonderful, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece as well, though, isn't it? It's really, really special, but how magical. Thank you for uh, getting in touch with us, Joyce. Thanks, Joyce. Good luck Thank with that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Our pleasure. You. Uh, we've got Alex on the line in Lincoln. Hi, Alex. Hiya. Now, you've got something from your granddad you want Dan to have a look at. Yeah, that flew. Um, I've recently come into possession of um, some um, Winston Churchill and Eisenhower coins set in an epoxy resin block. So, um, they've been, well, we thought they'd been lost. Um, the last time I saw them was about 30 years ago. Um, uh, all my granddad's possessions have been on store, been passed through the family. And uh, say, as I thought, they were gone. And uh, lo and behold, they turned up in a box last week. So, <laughs> well, Alex, these are Slade Hampton and Sons, produced in 1965, I believe, to mm -hmm. commemorate the 25th anniversary of Dunkirk. Okay. They are gold, which is great news, and I can tell because these just aren't faked. Now. This is the important part. They're 22 carat. The big ones weigh 106 grams. Ooh. The smaller ones weigh 17 grams. Total weight to those, 246 grams. Alex, 10 years ago, these would have been worth half what they are now. Oh, wow. As is the monumental rise of gold. And it is galloping at the moment because of the wars in the world and because of the economic decline, investors go into gold to make money. What does that mean to you, me, and everyone else? I don't know, but I'm loving it. Come <laughs> if on. If we have gold, <laughs> then we're looking at big money. Alex, you are looking at big money. How wow. much do you reckon this is worth for this set? Uh, no, I'm I, I scared to say, oh I my would, God. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling it. I, mean, I don't. Uh, 500 quid? Thousand. Alex, it's nowhere near 500 quid. Get ready for this because this Go is on. the big money ticket here. You are looking at 14,000 pounds. What? Wow. What did you well, say? One four or four zero? One four. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> Forty would have been more impressive, but fourteen thousand nonetheless. The fourteen. But... Hold on. So, Alex, these were your grandfather's, is that right? Yeah, my granddad was um, Gordon Highlander. He served in the second battalion, oh. and uh, is well, uh, Gordon Highlander. So oh, you know, man. and there's a picture of him there. And you wow. thought, and you thought they'd been lost as well. Yeah. So um, obviously, if, if we can manage to get some sort of figure like that. I think a large proceeds of it's going to go to help the heroes. Wow, oh, what an amazing, amazing. thing well to do. Can, can I ask yeah. you one more question, though? If he kept them for another 10 years, would the price escalate is in the same way? Or should or is it now a kind of a punt to... now? Well, on average, gold is going up at the moment between 12 and 15% a year. My, my advice would be, if you don't need the money... Hold, hold on. on to them. Because do you know what? If it's going to double, triple, yes. quadruple, your yes. quid's enough. That's why. Alex, what are you going to do? Double or quits? Yeah, uh, well, I think, I think we'll, we'll, we'll let them go to where they need to be for now. And uh, if we can get that, we'll do what I said. 
Lovely. Amazing. amazing. Well really done, special. Alex. That's Goodness amazing. Yes. Alex, thank you for getting in touch. And how wonderful that they've been found and they're worth so much money, Dan. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. And that's the amazing thing. We've got £43 billion pounds of unwanted stuff in our homes that we need to be digging out and getting and selling. Mm. Thank you so much for coming up. And will you come on again? I love Absolutely. this. Amazing, it's it? so exciting. Thank <laughs> you lovely. so much. Thank you. Thank you. OK, coming up next,